Hi, my name is Michael Giuliani. I'm a senior in the electrical engineering program here at Lawrence Tech. I chose electrical and computer engineering because electronics have always fascinated me. I want to be a part of pushing that technology forward. I chose Lawrence Tech for electrical and computer engineering because the small class and lab sizes give us a lot of access to the labs and give us a lot more personal attention from the professors. So today I just want to give you a tour of some of the labs we have here in our electrical and computer engineering program and some of the equipment you'll find inside of them. This is our analog electronics lab. This is our most heavily utilized lab in our program. This is the lab we use for any general purpose electronics experiments. Um, in this lab, you'll find all the essential equipment that you'll need for building and testing any of your circuits. So in this lab, we have a powered breadboard, a digital multimeter. We have our benchtop DC power supply, a digital oscilloscope, and a function generator. From day one, students in the ECE program learn to use our benchtop equipment to safely build and test all of their circuits. This is our control systems lab, and this is where students will learn to develop control systems using real-time data measurements. A control system is any sort of automated process in electronics, so anything as simple as your thermostat at home, and as far as something like a self-driving car. In this lab, we have laptops with licensed software as well as hardware that students use to develop all of their control systems labs. Um, with me right now, I have a laptop that's running a program called MATLAB Simulink, as well as the hardware, which is a cube servo system, running an inverted pendulum lab. And what this lab does is keeps a pendulum upright completely automatically. This is our printed circuit board lab. This is the lab where we give students all of the tools they could need to build their own printed circuit boards or PCBs. A PCB is anything that you would find in any electronic device, and that's where you'll find all the circuits for it. So something like this. So in this lab, we have everything students would need. So starting with a computer-aided design software for designing the PCB itself, software for running our PCB mill machine behind me, where we cut out the PCB. And from there, we have things like a pick and place machine for surface mount components, a solder rework station for soldering other components, a solder reflow oven for more delicate components, and things like our very nice oscilloscope behind me here for further testing of the PCBs. So students will have everything they need here so they can start with designing their PCB. They give it to us to mill out, and then they can use all of the other equipment for putting the PCB together, and that's all. This is our embedded software engineering lab. Embedded software is computer software that you would find on a device that you would normally not think of as a conventional computer like your desktop computer. So in this lab, students learn to write that software and implement it on things like our TI Tiva C-series microcontrollers. Students can also use our system running Linux behind me here for any sort of project they have that requires Linux without having to own their own Linux device. We also have 3D printers that anyone in the ECE department can use for anything with their project. Students can also work on their senior projects in this room. My senior project is using a microcontroller running Android 10. And we're also using a video game controller and we're taking the hardware from both of those and integrating them into one product like this. We're also writing software to run a standalone VR headset like this one, which currently doesn't exist on the market. And we're also writing software to control things like a quad rotor drone while running the VR headset and playing games all at the same time. These labs have given me the hands-on experience I need to be a great electrical and computer engineer. The small classes and lab sizes give me the personal attention I need from my professors. And the industry leading equipment in these labs have given me the opportunity to work on a senior project with a real tech startup doing real product development. So I hope that you enjoyed this tour of just some of our labs in the ECE program and I hope you get a chance to visit.